Okay, so this video is going to be about this little circuit I just made. It's based off of the parts of a disposable camera. Basically in a disposable camera there will be a flash circuit. It looks kind of like this. And there will be a little inverter on there. And the flash runs on about 300 volts. Well, I took the parts out of this and one of them was this transformer right here. And I took the transistor out and the capacitor and the diode. And I made this little inverter right here. And with a little fiddling around, I got to put out about 600 volts. And that charges this capacitor. And then it goes through this small little spark gap right here. And then into this trigger coil from uh, another flash unit. And if I just right, it's running on a D cell. Um, it'll run on a double A. I just don't have any double A's right now. And if I am able to turn it on, oh, the spark gap's a little too big. see here it's jumping that gap easily and maybe we'll maybe we'll be able to see the spark gap firing I don't know if the camera picks up the spark gap very good I'd say that gaps about half a centimeter right there I'm just adjusting the spark gap to get the right discharge. So I'd say I'd say that that's about um, maybe 5,000 volts out from this, and you can see the circuit fits happily on a penny. And I'll show the circuit now. So when I took the camera apart, I found that um, there were... I took out the transformer and I measured, measured the resistances and I found that there were three coils inside. There's one 0.5 ohm primary. <coughs> a 1 ohm feedback and a 300 volts a 300 ohm secondary so how i hook this up is i put one end of the feedback through a resistor to plus and connected the primary straight to the collector and um, connected the other end of the feedback to the base I don't know why, but internally they connected the feedback and the 300 ohm thing. So from the secondary, it goes through a diode to a capacitor, and then through the spark gap to the little trigger coil. So that's pretty much it. Mm, thanks for watching.